All right, so today, uh, top fails or mistakes using the Bubble King line of skimmers. We got them on the 160, you got one at my house. We've learned a lot about them in the last year. We've made some mistakes and you can learn from them from us so you don't have to make one yourself. All right, so number one, if you're like me, uh, you've actually seen a sea of these things and it's pretty hard to tell the difference. Yeah, so the mistake is not watching a video that we did already that breaks down the four different Bubble King options, the Mini, the Supermarin, the Deluxe, and the Double Cone uh, can help you make that decision a heck of a lot easier. This was actually refreshing, uh, talking to them, because I've talked to other uh, skimmer manufacturers. I asked them, like, hey, why does this line exist to this one, yeah. and the Super, and the Super Duper, and the Super Duper Deluxe, and the Super Duper Duper Deluxe after that? <laughs> and the answer I get is, well, because people buy them. That's a terrible answer. <laughs> uh, and so uh, actually working with these guys, it was a really uh, like refreshing feeling because we found out very distinct reasons why the four lines actually exist and why there's a right tool for the right job and how you can use it the right way. So there is that video that you can go watch. We'll probably share it at the end of today, but you don't wanna wait for that. So we'll give it to you short and sweet right now. All right, so number two, many might think it's this big. It's not really true, but it also matches the name. Yeah, so the mistake is not understanding what the Mini is for and when you would use it, in which case it's for those small Mini spaces. Yeah, so it's not about a small tank, it's about a small space for the skimmer. So you want the Red Dragon pump, you want the Bubble King experience, that we put the pump inside of the skimmer and it saves on a ton of space. So you can see that in the images of it, it's just a much more compact skimmer. So you get all that kind of performance, but you can fit it in more some spaces. And for that reason, the Mini is pretty darn popular. All right, so number three, this is kind of the beginning of the core experience of the like Bubble King, it's the Super Marin. Yeah, so not understanding when the Superman's the right tool for your job. And basically, if you're a wet skimmer type or wet skimmate type person, and you just have the ability to adjust how you collect that wet skimmate, super barren. Yeah, so that's it. If you're just looking for a really wet skimmate and uh, it's really easy to just adjust using the uh, uh, top or the wedge tube here, that is it. It also does uh, have a, a little bit more use of the entire length of body because you can see that the bubble plate is at the absolute by very bottom of the skimmer. So this is one of the performance benefits of the Supermarine. Be looking at what you guys are actually buying, the Deluxe is actually more popular than the Supermarine and this is probably why. Yeah, so not understanding when the Deluxe is the right tool is the mistake here. In this case, not only can I adjust whether or not the, uh, how my skimmate's collected with the Deluxe, I can choose whether it's drier or wetter skim. Yeah, the reason that you can do that easier is the telescoping tube. And so the telescoping tube on the side of it allows you to eliminate all that back pressure uh, from uh, like water light height levels in your sump. Mm -hmm. Not totally eliminate, but account for and adjust, make it easier. So it's, it's a lot easier to adjust. You can just take the output uh, and lift it up to get the water level in this uh, skimmer and then use the telescoping tube inside of that to fine tune it. So it gives you more adjustments. And I can tell you, this is what the ones I'm using at my own house is the Super Marin and uh, our Deluxe rather. And it's actually delivering that. It's super, super easy to adjust and get the type of foam I want, which in my case, I just like a little drier. Number five, this one is going to speak to a lot of people. Yeah, <laughs> the mistake is not understanding when the double cone is the right tool. And if you like this Super Marin you know, version here, but you want to do it a little cheaper, the double cone's your answer. You probably wouldn't even notice, uh, but there's just a couple of ways that they assembled it uh, and the pieces that they made just make it easier to put together, which allows them to reduce the cost. So Super Marin and the double cone, both wet skimmers and really uh, like very comparable, except for with the double cone, you can save some money. All right, so now that we're past the array of what these things do, you know, what about DC? And the mistake is overlooking what DC can do for you, especially when it comes to scaling. Uh, I think we've hit this one several times before in the adjustability of a DC pump up or down. Uh, that you, if you have less fish, you know, lower. If you have a uh, lot of fish, rank it up. Yeah, so here's the thing, when you're, you know, Picking up a skimmer, there's an acrylic tube and uh, it's nice that it's refined and has cool little features. Like in this case, you can actually take out the center to make it super easy to clean. All kinds of nice little features like that. However, what's really defining how it works is the quality of the pump. So you get the Red Dragon pump in there and the ability to adjust the DC version is that air fuel mixture. Like how much uh, poo and food and stuff is in there 
I can match that with my air. And one of the beauties of that is now the skimmer actually grows with you. So when I only have a handful of fish in my first year, and uh, three years from now, the thing is just chock full of fish, but more importantly, those fish are now actually five times as big as they were when I got them, and it's a ton more food. I can actually scale it, and so I don't need to go buy a new skimmer down the road. This one will actually scale with me from the beginning all the way to that robust tank. All right, so number seven, this is actually one of the more refreshing things I've heard from a manufacturer. Yeah, so the mistake is going too big when you shouldn't, and Royal Exclusive tells you not to do that. Actually, that was one of the things that we've kind of come to a conclusion on here, and so it was about the same time, because you were doing a lot of tests on mm -hmm. skimmers, and uh, then when I talked to them, they are like, yeah, the number one thing you want to make sure people do is don't buy one that's too big because too big just won't work. It'll just look like a boiling pot of foam that never does anything. It never actually produces that foam head that goes over. What you want is the right tool to the right size. And so actually you're better going a little light and it will work all the time. I mean, obviously picking perfection right in the middle is what we're looking for. But if you can't figure it out and you're like, well, maybe it's this one and maybe that one, probably go with the smaller one and it'll be the right tool. So number eight, in terms of sizing, think about it a little deeper than most people do. Yeah, so the mistake is not considering uh, for the size of your skimmer, how many fish do you have and how often or how much are you feeding? Those are really the key factors into sizing the right skimmer for your tank. I think also, uh, instead of thinking, I mean, you're making an investment in this. If you're buying this, it's probably uh, not your first rodeo. You probably understand skimmers now. You probably understand like what I'm trying to achieve with it. And that I want to do less water changes. I want all the pollution. I got a lot of fish. I like to feed them. I need the right tool for the right job. So if that's the case, maybe think a little bit about where I'm going rather than where I am. Yeah. So uh, just because it's not maybe the perfect tool for my two little fish I have today, but I know full well in a year, it's gonna be something totally different. Think a little bit about sizing the skimmer or where you're going rather than you, where you are at the exact moment. Number nine, I don't think you would do this unless you heard it up front. Yeah, so the mistake is running your skimmer at the max speed from day one, and really you shouldn't have to. It's one of those adjustability type things that you just dial in. Max speed's not always the answer. Yeah, think about it like a bubble wand. When you uh, blow through it, if I pull it out, I kind of blow through it and it creates some bubbles, yep. right? What if I dilute that by 10 and there's almost no soap in there? I have to be so careful, so little air to create a, a bubble out of it. It's the same thing in your tank. And so in my case, uh, I'm actually running this thing at about a third power because I only have a few fish in a large tank. It's 300 gallons plus and uh, I only have uh, like, what, five fish in there right now? So actually, if I run it at max, it doesn't do anything. It creates that boiling uh, pot. Uh, there's just not enough organics to support a foam head at that velocity of air leaving it. So when I crank down the air uh, to match the amount of food that's going in there, all of a sudden it creates that dry foam that I'm looking for. So just out of the bat, you could try it at max if you want, but if it's not producing the results you're looking for, crank it back and match it to the amount of food input that you have. Number 10, if you have the deluxe, you paid a little extra for a specific thing, use it. Yeah, the mistake is not using that telescoping feature. So in, you know, there's two adjustments here. There's really three with the DC pump, uh, but there's a reason that you got the deluxe. It's not just because it was the highest priced one. There is you know, some benefits to adjusting that telescoping, uh, telescoping type of adjustment, do it. Yeah, so for me, this is it. When I turn this little knob here, uh, where is it going to end up? I really don't know. You know, it's, you're dealing with head pressure and stuff. If I have the telescoping tube, which is essentially a, a water goes up, goes over the elbow and goes back down, when I raise and lower that, I know exactly where it's going to go. It's going to go to the bottom of the uh, elbow that comes down. So visually, I can adjust it like instantaneously, and I know exactly what it's going to do. It's super predictable and super easy. So if you do pick up that telescoping tube, use it. All right, so if there's only one thing you heard today, let it be this. Yeah, for me, getting that perfect skimmate is not just what skimmer you pick or which way you choose it, it's how you adjust it and being mindful of your food, your fish, and making the adjustments according. You'll be a lot happier when your skimmer is actually producing what you want. I think that's one of the things is a lot of people just plug it in the wall and hope it works. Uh, it's actually like an engine. It's a foam engine and you can tune it to your specific needs once you understand how to do it. Yeah. Uh, so for me, 
Uh, actually, the one thing here today is uh, you can open up the like uh, Royal Exclusive page and there's a sea of 30 skimmers in there. How could you possibly <laughs> ever know which one to use? Hopefully you got a picture of a uh, little bit of why, uh, which one is right for you. Uh, you know, double cone, I'm looking for value. Mini, I'm looking for small. Deluxe, I'm looking for uh, the best available of the bunch. One of those probably speaks to you. But if you want, you can actually go and watch that video. We got about a 20, 25 minute video. It sounds kind of long, but if you're making this kind of investment, I would watch it. You can find it right there, or you can find that sea of all those skimmers right here on the Bubble King page. You can see all of them.